Hey, it's Lauren. Thank you so much for joining me. I'm going to put some makeup on my face right now. I don't know why I just did this very awkward motion with my hands. Anyways, it's spring, springtime, so I feel like doing something kind of spring-like. We'll see. It could turn out to look autumn-esque for all I know. I have a few newer items I'm going to be incorporating into this look, and then some not new stuff. You get the gist. The gist, the gist. I'm gonna use a primer. I am gonna use this. This is the Say Beauty Glowy Super Gel. I have this like deluxe mini, smaller size that you can get out there. Um, I'm gonna pair this with this, the new Rose Ink Tinted Serum. I like both of these things. They're super pretty and I wanted to see how they looked together. I have my hair down when I film because it's like my curtain of femininity. But let's be real, I do not actually apply makeup with my hair in my face because it gets everywhere. So let's get that out of, of, my, of myself. Okay, so now I'm gonna put this on. This is the Rose Ink Skin Enhance Luminous Tinted Serum. I did a TikTok of this when uh, when I got it. I did upload that to YouTube as well. So I just put a pump on my face and started mushing it around with my hands, but I find it's better, like it blends better if I use a brush. So I'm gonna zoom in and show that fact right here. Let's start with a better pump. So I'll take like a little a little pump of that with its weird, super weird texture and blend. So I actually ordered this when it first launched directly from the Rose Ink website because they had like this really great deal where you get this concealer and a concealer brush and this foundation brush and I had a hell of a time getting those products. First, there's like a snowstorm in like the Chicago area, which I think is where their stuff ships from. So that made it hard to get to. Totally excusable, understandable, etc. cetera. Um, but then when I got it, the, uh, the only thing that was in the order that arrived was the concealer brush. So then I emailed them, they send something out Again, the only thing that arrives is the foundation brush and the concealer, still missing this item. So it took like close to two months for this to arrive. Very good like responsive customer service about it. And they gave me some codes to use, like discount codes because of the fact that there was like such a constant mess up. But every time I've gone to use the codes, there is some sort of promotion they have going on so I can't actually use the codes because it won't double up on itself. I'm liking the combo of these. I think it looks really pretty. It's feeling a little bit on the heavier side. For the most part, this is pretty weightless feeling, um, but this is quite glowy and tacky, so um, hopefully this will set down. I am gonna use um, the Kosas Concealer for a bit more coverage since it is so light. And I do have a couple of breakouts poking through and a little bit of redness and of course I have some very dark under eyes All right, I'm using a little bit of the Kosas cloud set to well try and set this all right I like I like this face combo set it down it's nice Going to more of like a medium shot, so you're not all up in my face. I use this little trio for my brows, the Essence Brow Pen, the Kosas Air Brow, and the Flower Beauty Micro Brow. Don't wanna bore you all with doing that on camera. I'm gonna put this on real quick. This is the uh, Iconic London Sheer Bronzer, and then I wanna try out a blush combo. So for this, I'm just gonna put it on the back of my hand, and I'm gonna use the Rose Ink blush brush it's like a really good stippling brush great for these very liquidy products i really want to talk about severance i think it is absolutely amazing it's on apple tv please comment if you're watching it i would love to talk about it with some people it is the it is the best show on tv right now 
It is so good. It is so crazy. If you're not familiar, it is, it is about people who've gone through a procedure. They have like a chip implanted in their brain to to not remember their work life. They've split themselves. So they have their innie version, which only knows their work life. And then they have their outie version who knows nothing of their life in the end side of work. Like in some ways you could see how it would be like, oh, a really ideal like way to have like a work-life balance. But it really like, you're like subjugating your inner yourself when you're at work. You're like, you're outsourcing yourself and it's like a form of, it's like s turning yourself into a slave because you're forcing a part of yourself to do the work so interesting there's so much mystery i don't want to like give anything away for people who are interested and haven't watched it or aren't caught up but so many amazing actors and if you like patriot or perpetual grace stephen conrad shows you will like this really similar sense of humor even some similar actors actually the guy who plays the brother-in-law in this is in some of other of conrad's content it's directed by ben stiller and it's written by somebody else but you can definitely see like the influence that conrad has had over ben stiller because they have collaborated in the past anyways i'm putting that out there because I, I want i want to talk about it with some people is it a satanic cult? What's going on? Okay, so onto the blush combo that I wanted to try out. Um, another Say Beauty product and another Rose Ink product. Um, this was part of like a gift with purchase when I did order from their website. Um, got the Azalea blush. So funny, the gift with purchase was pretty much all that came during the order. And I wanna mix it with this Say blush and peachy. I saw that they have um, released a few more shades of this and they look quite pretty, but there is this ombre blush trend going on. And I wanna, I wanna try it out with these two and see how it looks. Let's see, how do I wanna approach this? Let's first lay down peachy. I might be doing this backwards. I'm gonna lay down some of Peachy. It's funny calling it an ombre blush trend when uh, doing this type of blush where you do like a brighter color and then into a deeper color going up has been ar around since, you know, the dawn of makeup. The whole like Charlotte Tilbury blushes, like the nipple blush is that whole sort of centered around that. But you know, that's what we do. We make old things new again by giving them a new name like the clean look, which is no makeup makeup. All right, so I'm gonna stipple this back, concentrating on the cheek and going upward. Hopefully this looks cute and I haven't committed to something weird. Now, just gonna do a light dab of Azalea. Okay, I really, I'm really liking that combo. Okay, the thought translated into actuality. Um, I'm gonna pick up a little bit more of the rose ink blush and just kind of place it around my face. Cause I like that cohesiveness of having a little bit of my blush worked in two parts of my face. I got this recently. This is new from Flower Beauty, the Spotlight Liquid Highlighter. Same same type of tube as the uh, Charlotte Tilbury products. Pick this up in the shade Opal. I've used it a couple times. It's quite pretty. Definitely need to like sheer it out quite a bit just for my own tastes. Okay, nice and glowy, looking fresh. I'm gonna use the Rowan Gold Lust palette on my eyes. I had this in my favorites, but I haven't actually like demoed it, used it on my channel. So today will be the day. I think this is super pretty. I am probably just gonna use these three shades just because I want a more softer pink look to show, show shine through. Yes, that's how I will phrase this. And I think this will be a little bit too orangey copper for what I'm going for. So I'm gonna start with this shade. Put that all over.
And then I'm just going to deepen it up a bit by taking this cream shade and work it right into the crease. And now I'm going to take this super pretty glittery shade and just ever so lightly kind of like spotlight on the center and just dab it out. This is by far their most effortless palette to use. All of them are pretty easy to use and just like slap on and look pretty. But the texture of these ones, the cream of it, just give like a really gorgeous glowing, like wet lid. That's very, very pretty. I hope that they come out with more, more, uh, more shades with that formula. I hope Rowan survives. This is a weird thought, but like there seem to be in like a weird state. <laughs> Uh, of, of branding and of releases. I use Glossier Lash Slick for mascara. I should have just titled this video Makeup Combos I Want to Try because that's also what I want to do with my lip. I pulled the Flower Beauty Scribble Stick in Sherbert and I wanted to try pairing it with the Hints, I think this is the Mood Enhancer Liquid. I'm not sure what the title of this lipstick is. It'll be down below but it's in the shade alluring i thought these might pair really pretty together so the scribble stick i'm just gonna do very lightly mainly as like a liner and then like blend it down and then go over top with the allure i can't talk and put lipstick on but who can now going in with alluring from hints the formula of this is so nice it is a little bit strong, strongly scented. That's the only downer. It kind of smells like my mom's perfume. I added a touch more of both of these blushes. I thought I was looking a little washed out when I looked towards the viewfinder. I felt like the, the look could handle a bit more, but I have a face on. There we go. Let's zoom out completely. Don't know if I needed that. Anyways, the hair is down. Makeup is on. Hello. Full face of newish, not talked about, combo, spring themed, run on sentence of makeup application. Hopefully this was interesting. You enjoyed it. I enjoyed it. I always enjoy talking alone in a room to myself, you know, so might as well put it out for the world to enjoy it as well. I hope you all are well. I'll see you in the next one.